What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. Uh, I would say this is more of a tips and tricks video for LumaFusion. Uh, what? Them damn flies. So, this is more of a tips and tricks video when it comes to LumaFusion, I guess. Because there's no stabilizing uh, inside of LumaFusion. But I want to start this video off by saying that my channel just became a community. That allows me to post directly on the community, making polls that you guys can vote on and giving you updates on when the next video is coming. And I have a poll running there now. You can vote for some free sound effect pack. You can vote for more LUTs. You can vote for a cinematic or a transition based video that I will make in LumaFusion to show off like what you can do in LumaFusion with my transitions or how you can actually make the most out of LumaFusion when it comes to making a video or using it as a professional video editing tool or app. Yeah, let's move over to LumaFusion and I'm gonna explain you how you stabilize your footage and use it in LumaFusion. And I also have three gifts to give away in this video, so stay tuned. Once we started up Loop My Fusion, we make a new project and we find the clip that we want to stabilize. And if you don't want to stabilize your entire clip or video footage, you can simply make some cuts to decrease the file uh, when you are stabilizing it, meaning you will decrease the time it takes to stabilize it as well. So once you're done cutting the clip and you are happy with the length of the clip and you are ready to stabilize it. The next thing you do is to save this clip, render it to your Photos app, the same settings as you used when you filmed the footage. Once you're done rendering the video, you go out of LumaFusion and here's the thing. You have to buy a D-Shake video stabilization app. It's only $3, but this is the only way you can stabilize your footage in LumaFusion with high quality at this point. LumaFusion has said that they will implement video stabilization into LumaFusion in the future. They also said that before this 1.7 update. I'm a little bit unsure of when it actually will be released, but for now, this is the only way to do it. And if you can't buy one of these, I'm giving away three D-Shake applications for iOS in this video. So stay tuned and I will tell you how you enter this competition. This competition will end in three days. Uh, so stay tuned until the end and I will explain to you how you can win this app. So once you bought and downloaded the D-Shake app, you open it right away and it will take you into this screen, your Photos app. And the next thing you do is you go to your videos and you find the clip that we just rendered. And you can see it's on the top left and we're gonna tap on that one. And it will analyze the clip and add the stabilization to it. But the next thing you have to do is to tweak the settings. If, you, if you're gonna go for what most people are doing using this app, uh, from what I've seen on YouTube, they increase the strength to 100% or from 50% and above. This will ruin your clip every single time at 100%. So I've been looking through and checking almost every single percentage to find the best setting for video stabilizing your footage. So what we wanna do is to place the strength between 18 and 20, where 20 is the total max. I recommend going no higher than 19, but you can also play around with this app if you want to. And you have to keep stabilize rotation on and wobble suppression on. 
And as you can see in this example and the video that I just uploaded a couple of days ago, you can see that the stabilization is pretty good. The other way you can do it, you can you can go into LumaFusion and you can stabilize or try to stabilize your footage by keyframing every frame. Keyframing a clip which is 10 seconds long will take you forever to stabilize and it will be worse than this. So this is by far the best app for video stabilization on iOS and in LumaFusion right now. So I recommend getting this one. It's only three bucks. As I said, I'm giving away three of them in this video. So once you're happy with the strength and you find the settings that you are happy with, the next thing you do is you tap on the check mark on top right. This will save your video and stabilize your footage. And once the stabilization is done, you can either replace the original video that you just stabilized or you can save it as a new video. You can share the video or you can export it to clouds. Exporting it to clouds will save it inside the cloud and you will free up a lot of space on your device if you don't use anything like iCloud or Dropbox or Google Drive. Let's go and make another example. This is my wife walking at the beach in Hawaii. Uh, let's stabilize this footage and I will show you before and after and how stable this footage actually gets. I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna render the final result and let's take a look at the end when everything is rendered. So in this sequence, the footage to the left is stabilized and the footage to the right is not stabilized. And you can easily see the difference when you take a look at the top left corner of the stabilized footage and the footage that is not stabilized. So there's not much more I can add to this video other than this being an app, uh, which is really awesome. I have been using it quite a lot. I haven't mentioned it before. Maybe I mentioned it a couple of times uh, when I started making YouTube videos or maybe a month into making YouTube videos. But this app is so awesome. So what you have to do to win one of these is to subscribe to my channel comment below why you want this app and what you're gonna mostly use it for. Are you you're gonna use it for school project? Are you gonna use it for work? Are you gonna use it to stabilize your uh, travel videos? Just let me know in the comment section below why you want this D-Shake app to stabilize your footage. And I will pick a winner in three days. And I will also put up a Gleam competition for this one. This will only be linked in the description of this video. Uh, so you go in there and you watch or re-watch this video uh, so we get your one entry and uh, this has nothing to do to whichever that I pick this is only so your email gets registered so it's easier for me to send the gift directly to you but go down in the comment section below let me know why you want this free um, D-Shake app and I will pick a winner in three days. So that's everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the comparison with the stabilization on and stabilization off. And there's not more to add in this video. So I hope you will use this app a lot. This video is not sponsored by D-Shake or anything. It's just an awesome app. So until LumaFusion adds video stabilization built into LumaFusion, there's nothing else we can do than going out and buy a Sejun Crane or Vegutech uh, A1000 for a lot of money and stabilize our footage with the camera or we can buy this app for $3 and get a more decent quality footage. 
by using and stabilizing it with that app. Another tip is also if you struggle with, if you have a mirrorless camera like me um, and you want to get like stable slow motion footage, it's always good to film at a high frame rate, 120 FPS, and you can slow it down and then you take a portion of the slow clip and you cut it so it's not that long. And when you slow down a clip which is 120 FPS, it it will get silky smooth anyway. So if you don't have much shake to your footage and you film in 120 FPS, you don't need this app. But if you film in 60 FPS and you still wanna slow it down, you can see some, some shake on the edges and then you might go and use this D-Shake app. So that's everything for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, notifications on, give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget the Amazon gift card giveaway. It's soon time to give away three Amazon gift cards. And also, if you want to become a patron, I have a patron link in the description below as well. By supporting me on Patreon, it allows me to use more time on making videos for LumaFusion, videos in general for filmmaking and tutorials for LumaFusion. And you can also make a donation if you want to, the link is down below. And I also wanna take Harold Peter for donating five pounds to my channel. Thank you very much for that. So until next time, peace.